hey, you know we're back. Game two. No big deal. Guess what? A little treat for you guys since the week before playoffs. We don't have any time. We, we gotta get to into the action. Anything. No pick right fan. Straight high octane game right now. Boom. Get into it. Do it. Starts. Boom. Look at these. Look at these picks. Uh, we got a. Uh, oh my God, Viego. We got a. Uh, what's that? Uh, who, who is that? Who's Go BM who, on the left? Or on the right? That, is that is that our sleep sleepers? Yeah. The other teams called. Uh, who is, who is the? Who Honestly, is the I, do you recognize a single player on their team? Yeah, no, I do. It, I don't know, man. I'm telling you, it, it's getting a little wild over there. But, uh, but yeah, you know, it's uh, they they got a crazy team. The the Fiora, you know, the Briar, the Cassidy, and going for a Cassidy in play, kind of wild. You got the uh, the Kaisa in there as well. Some really strong I picks. Mean, that being said, we got a Lissandra a support on the other side. Lissandra support. I don't know if I've seen too much Lissandra support. Yeah, that's what you mean. I like strong players. It's strong. All right. I am just solo casting, I suppose. <laughs> and we're going to keep it that way. Yeah. All right, Josh, you know what to do. Don't say a word. <laughs> just if you guys did a good job of that, I'll tell you what. Oh, little Urga going to try to find out some hard. boys here. Um, both teams, they kind of spot each other out. This is going to walk away. Nothing crazy going to happen in the level one. Oh, that one's got a lot of entry points. Yeah, but uh, who, you, who you got in this I'm game, Chase? Who you got in this one? I kind of like... Um, the Lissandra support. That's it's a interesting. Wild one. Yeah, you don't see... What will that do? That's the real question. I mean, the, the classic thing is, you know, play it safe mid, don't feed. You know what I mean? So let's see if Victor can capitalize on Victor that. Victor is definitely what. a strong pick and he can yeah, capitalize. He, a lot of, he is. A lot of early lane poke, a really, really strong yeah. champ. Gonna yeah. see some Briar this game. Not, haven't seen too much Briar so far in the no, SLS. Really, so really, really nice. Really nice little addition of Fiora top lane. Fiora can become a problem if out of hand, but so Dang. can Urgot, you know. Yeah, I mean, Urgot struggles a little bit against Fiora, right? Just because his dash over here throws somebody over the shoulder and just starts beating on him. Can mm -hmm. actually be blocked by Fiora pretty easily. Um, so it's tough. You know, you almost have to just kind of sit oh, there and Bot lane gets a level two first. The Q from the Brombo miss. Sold W from the Kaisa. And they're going to equalize out this level two real quick on this minion um and braum ends up taking the worst part of that trade still full hp on blue side so a really decent trade and an what early viego gank this is what you gotta do he can pull it off on viego this this fight is going to be too easy flash w by lissandra goes for the claw the w lands on to the braum the damage is going to be huge it's almost certainly there. going to be a kill first blood goes over to viego the exact person you wanted on and a huge first kill even we even saw the emote comes out on that one, so that's when you know you got it in the bag. Yeah, just really, really, really nice play by HSG right there. Hot shot gaming, getting the early advantage, getting the gold lead, and uh, they're in a good spot for this one for sure. Yeah, I think the, the problem I foresee is the Fiora top lane. I mean, you can tell pretty early from the game the dominance is going on. It doesn't get much better for Urgot. Urgot, doesn't, Urgot right does now. not seem too concerned. You know, going with the cull pick just thinks I can farm this one out. Yeah, that's what you do. Each leg each leg counts as an auto attack. So it's yeah. more life steal than more it's, on yeah, the play. It is the play. Uh, Viego going to be running into the Briar. Viego going for the early game. Going to have to sacrifice his jungle. That's usually the case. But... Briar's getting collapsed on here. The rest of the team coming over. Briar gonna have to get on out of there. The Fiora might come over to help, but Briar's gonna have to give that one out. But she's sticking around. She is on vision right now, so Viego knows this. Going to just go back and do his wolf camp, but Briar is gonna keep looking, gonna clear this pink. The blue buff just comes walking back to her. Viego, maybe gonna have to give this one up. Gonna do his wolf camp, maybe go back and contest the... Victor is going to clear this wave out. Nobody from Red Side is collapsing onto it. And just another, it's just a repeat. They're going to force Briar off of this. This Briar just hard commit. See, Viego sitting in the brush. Briar just scaring Victor, him off. Yeah. yeah, here comes Victor coming in over. Oh the, the smite does come through, though. Viego not getting that timing off. But Briar just going to stick around. He just has no reason to leave. We got to go back to that jungle. We got to go back to that jungle. The jungle is where the fight is. And yeah, Viego is going to be taking a ton of damage, but barely surviving at the end. So getting absolutely bullied in the jungle. But there it yeah. is. The bleed. The Briar bleed is just too much. 
and that is going to be a kill Yikes. over on the side of Hotshot Gaming. I mean, what a champion! Raw you just Reaper. sit in the uh, sit in the jungle. Oh, Raw Reaper, you you're right, you're right. Raw, and Raw Reaper is also getting two kills in the bot lane. Yeah. In the interim as well, so they're they on a huge swing right there, getting themselves right back into the driver's seat. It's too much going on. I I mean. Wow, I mean, a kill picked up for Kaisa, a kill picked up for Braum, kill picked up for Briar. Yeah. I mean, Briar was in the jungle for Forever. Like three minutes. But she, that was insane. She knew that she had the strength there. She had the power to just completely bully the situation. The the Diego was behind after going for the early gank bot, the three camp into bot. So knowing that, she just plays on top side, just sits on the blue. It doesn't matter. What can Diego do? Sure, people rotate over, but then the rest of the team rotates over to help Briar. It's right. just over. Just really, really well played. Very odd because the blast cone wasn't really taken from yeah. the Victor to go over there and just kind of contest that. He walked all the way around, which ended up being a problem for everybody. Yeah, and you know, Victor gonna lose a little bit of EXP for that roam. But here comes Diego. He's gonna go for another play onto this bot lane, but I think it's too little too late. They try to go for and engage. The damage is kind of there, but it's just not enough. The Braum just tanked everything. Good old reduced damage. You gotta love it. Yeah, you gotta love reduced damage. And a, and a point click ability too. Fantastic. Really a fantastic champion. Everyone's point click was reduced damage. I know, it seems that and uh, yeah, uh, Looks like little Victor is going to be trading damage off mid lane pretty even right now. The Victor having to spend a lot of time trying to babysit his Diego in the top side, so lots a little bit of pressure there. So a good situation for our Reapers if you're that Cassidy, you know, just even with the Victor so far, only going to get more favorable for Cassidy as the game progresses. But Hotshot Gaming, they kind of look for a play here. Diego just coming in again. Losandra gets two roots down. Diego just kind of sitting in the brush. Kind of an interesting play, but understands that there's really no room to go back in. But a huge amount of damage lands. But here comes Diego. The bra may have overcommitted, and he does. The root lands, and Samira picks that one up. Braum's soul is sucked out of his body, and that is an equalizer kill. Even kills, even gold. This game is a close one early. Yeah, this is anyone's game right now. The main objectives at this point we're kind of looking at is the dragon. Who kind of goes for it first? Or does anybody go for it whatsoever? Looks like Viego is actually going to start it by himself. Knows that the Braum just died. Knows that Kaisa should recall, theoretically. Yeah, uh, pretty aggressive. Briar is on this side of the map. And even Briar doesn't expect it. She's going to do her blue buff. And Here just, comes Braum down, yeah. well, maybe with the vision. He doesn't go all the way. He goes no. back to the turret. They actually no. have no idea yeah, if yeah, Viego's Briar, doing Briar it. Briar has no idea. And if they did, they would have full advantage on this. This is an incredibly risky dragon by the Viego, but it pays off. A really savvy play to understand he had the vision advantage there to get that one off. And the Rift Hero comes up right now. Let's see if Briar just starts it immediately. Yeah, I mean, she had the level advantage. Viego going for a lot of early really gang heavy down in a bunch of cs but really helping his team out yeah i it's oh, it's going to be done the right that cassidy's playing at he is so yeah. low what Ooh. a flash flash yeah, by the viewer must have had her w down did not have the repost to counter that cc so just plays it safe the ergot really holding his own in this matchup still down some cs but definitely standing strong and man this cassidy has absolutely no fear he really understands his limits. Just standing in with a sliver of HP against Kassin. But Urgot gets the knockback onto the Fiora. The damage is going to be huge. Fiora going to have to run for her life to get out of there. Lissandra goes for another engage. The Roost land. The cleanse Fine. comes in. And that's just a free cleanse pretty much picked up. But the exhaust comes in and it's just wasted. The Lissandra just walks on out of there. And they get the push in under the tower. But that is a free cleanse picked up and a free exhaust. So just... W trades right there, but the Samira does trade her exhaust back. So, yeah, uh, a lot of action happening, but <laughs> unfortunately, no kills going down. No. Same thing with the mid lane. I mean, the Victor has been poking the Cassin down so so much, but he's not able to pick up a kill right here. And the, the Cassin actually a unique, a unique first strike. Uh, to be honest with you, knows Cassin has nothing, or knows ha uh, sorry, Victor has nothing but poke. I yeah. would not take first strike in that matchup. It's, now it's, looking it's, back it's at interesting, this. right? It's point click. It's just a matter of can you get your Q up before Victor lands his abilities. And a lot no. of ways, it is very tough because you're not you're in a ranged versus melee matchup, and you're the melee. So first strike, maybe not the choice. But it's, it's interesting to see how much gold it's actually accrued. 
because he's landed a decent amount of cues. I've seen the and there's another first strike proc right there. I imagine level six, you know, you just kind of play at range and you just land your ability before Victor can do anything. As long as you land the damage first, you get first strike gold. But you should never have the range advantage at this point. I I, I mean, look at look at the game, man. They're even. They're dead even. I know, that's what's crazy to me. I yeah. mean, Victor has so much more uh, of a... Uh, I mean, you can thank the Briar, you know, that early level one advantage, or not level one, but the early uh, blue buff fight where she gets all all of, basically, all of Diego's topside and just pulls a ton of pressure onto her. Gave him free farm. So Diego goes for the flash W, a very, very ballsy call. The cast and just rip walked out of there. Whoa, they try to commit more to it. The vehicle comes in, but here comes Briar. Maybe Briar doesn't want to go in, but oh, she does. The damage is going to be absolutely massive. Vigo tries to trade that down, but it's too much. That's going to be a kill going over to Cassidy, and Briar flashes out. The Cassidy chases down the victor for another kill, but no, it's a little bit too much. But that is just a free kill donated by Viego. And here comes Lissandra going in. The stun lands onto the Braum, but just one ability negates all the damage. And huge damage. The first strike coming in huge, killing off. The victor there and uh Kassin's a problem but this this game's this game's a problem yeah it, it really doesn't make any sense if you put it into uh logistic terms Kassin should never be this far ahead no, at it, all it's i, I it, don't know makes, what you did wrong it raises there. some questions yeah I don't know what you did wrong, but Kassin and having an advantage in this lane yeah. should never, ever, ever be a thing. This guy already has a 150 gold shutdown right now. Um, he already has his ROA. So this is, uh, you're right. As this game goes, it's a problem. Oh, but another route on the Lissandra, but the Braum ult comes in. Completely gated by Samira, and that's going to be huge. Damage coming in. That's a double kill for Samira. And TP's come in. That's a triple kill for Samira. No, somebody else picks that one up. The captain picks up a return kill, but there it is, a shutdown, absolutely huge. The Viego and the Samira run train on this bot lane and get themselves right back into it. So I'm starting to understand what's going on, right? Here's the thing. Yes. We say, listen, let's feed this Cassidy because we have the CC to insta-lock and oh, CC okay. this Cassidy. Now, all of a sudden, we have a fed cast in our R team. Oh. That's how you do it. And it, it's actually starting to make a lot of sense to me right now once you analyze here. it Something all. Yeah, definitely clicking here. I, I, I'm picking up what you're throwing down. Speaking of picking up what you're throwing down, this Urga throwing down some massive damage onto Fiora. But Fiora just going to farm these minions up. Still the up Briar ult uh -oh. hits him. Briar ult from downtown. Gonna deal a massive amount of damage. Urgot tries to trade that one. It's just not going to be enough. The repost lands to kill, but it looks like the bleed from the Briar will pick that one up. Urgot I actually gonna go love down. the uh, cast the summoners or, ca or throw your ult out, then cast rift. <laughs> yeah. Then hit target, then the rift makes it down to the lane where you killed. Yeah, that's that's, that's actually, interesting. That's actually great. Some would call that extremely unnecessary and just extra style points, and I can't even argue with no, that. No, that, that was full style points in my book. And a dragon is going to go over to... Watch out, we'll pick that one up. So, you know, get a little consolation prize off the Urgot play top, you know. So, at, overall, you know, a little dragon for one kill, not the worst trade on the planet. Uh, they're uh, going to be decently happy with that. Briar just farming camps, just decimating them. What do you think? You think Samira can carry this game? It's a possibility. Their hard CC is pretty negligent past Braum. And if she just saves her abilities properly, she can negate Braum's... She, like she did last fight, she negated Braum's entire ultimate with her W. So it's definitely a possibility that Samira is enough. Because, I mean, look at the CC. It's just not there. It, it's Braum. No, it's not. It's, it's just, it's it's just it's Braum. There on the other side, though. I mean, Lissandra has so much CC I to isolate a target. So if you're trying to look for a Briar or a cast and yeah, engage, you can instantly negate I know. it. I love, I actually kind of like the Lissandra tech into Cassidy. I think it makes a lot of sense. It does, yeah, it, it does. You can just shut somebody down. Who would say, hey, yep. listen, oh, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Here he goes, he ults in, boom. You're all of a sudden ulted. Mm. 
you can't really do that to Kaisa simply because she has a cleanse, unless yeah. you know that it's down right here. So I actually kind of like the but cleanse. You, you pick. also have to think the reason why the Kaisa took cleanse is because of, of Lissandra. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So like that's just a summoner advantage you have there, making her take cleanse. Anytime you take cleanse in AD carry, you're not really feeling the best. Like, oh man, I guess uh, I have to take cleanse. Sometimes I kind of like it just to go more aggressive right here, mm -hmm. uh, and then you kind of know what you can do. The Fiora TP instantly going in right here. Let's yeah. see if there's something that wants to go down. Oh, but mid is where it's happening. The Briar just full tower dies, and she's going to ultimately Die, trade her yeah. life. But Captain picks that one up. I think they call worth on that. They just want to get casted in the gold, but still a risky play to be trying to trade your gold there. Uh, Samira just sieging down this bot tower right here. Huge damage. He is just in a huge spot to just impact her will onto the map pushing this one in the urgot tries to get a recall off but here comes here comes the fiora fiora wants this fight but maybe he's going a little too hard trying to tower dive that bot lane just more of the same but cassidy is the story mid lane he's three one and one and he gets first turret gold solo that's massive cassidy is only going to get more powerful yeah oh look at this doesn't do anything so cassidy He's a problem. Almost the most farm in the game. He has three kills. He has an ROA that's stacking, currently at four stacks. He has a tier stacking. This guy's skilled. He has a dark seal stacking. Yeah. This man is looking for the long term and he is getting it. Honestly, there, there's been nothing to shut him down. It's times like this where you gotta think that the SLS has an ELO cap, right? Or else we just have a, like five casts on the same team. We swap people out every week. Can you do that? I, some say you can, some say you can't. We'll find out soon. We'll find Look out at soon. Little Fior taking a Whoa. lot of damage. Thought the E was going to go over to her. Actually, a very well placed, very well placed Riposte. It's just Urgot didn't throw it at her. Know, he it, knew what was going on. Yep. It, this top lane battle here, it, it's going back and forth, you know. Urgot has died one time, but I'm pretty sure that was jungle intervention right it, there. It was, yeah. yeah. yeah so, it's a fire with a two. Uh, oh. Assist the Divine Sunderer. Look at that. Dude, yeah, another, it is pretty another good. Another champion to mirror this hard counter. So Briar Ult comes in, one W gone. Yeah. That's an entire ultimate gone based off your W. Come on. You, you gotta love it. You you, you actually have to love it. Uh, and so let's see. We got Dragon coming up in, in a minute and twenty seconds. This top lane turret is gonna go it's down. Fiora has a little bit of more. Later. Unless Urgar uh, Urgot geez, hard shoves this thing. Biora can actually leave and go over to the dragon at yeah. this point. Yeah. Right, but, 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 Urgot does have the TP advantage, but as he does, you say, yeah. can just walk over to the pit and at this force point. the TP, yeah. right. And then you have the TP advantage oh. at that point. No, it looks like she might just go match top at this point, which, you know, definitely a place she can do. Yeah, yeah. That's Want to go mid, but. Yeah, thinking about it. But has confidence in her team right now to just handle the situation. But, I mean, look at that. That is uh, full Ninja Tabby into that. That is, or uh, Plated Steel Cap, sorry. Ninja Tabby, a little bit of antiquated. It's the same term. thing. It's the same yeah. thing. But into the Urgot. Urgot's not going to like that. But Urgot's dealing a massive amount of damage. I don't think Fiora's quite respecting the amount of burst Urgot can do if you jump on top of it. She's them. got refillable potions. She's fine. Uh, but the Executioner Calling does come out over on Urgot's yeah. side. And Viego has the T-Force. Oh, Briar finds the engage onto Lissandra. Lissandra just throws out the claw and gets out of there. A Victor W does try to slow her I'm down. I'm actually shocked they didn't keep out. chasing I that. Know. There was four of them right there. I guess they, I don't but know, they, they didn't know enough. instead they look onto this Braum mid. It's huge damage lands. Some damage going in top as well. They try to see if they can get a pick before this dragon fight. Both teams poised to try to contest it. TP not quite up for Fiora, so they have an advantage for a little bit. They drop the Rift mid to try to get some pressure onto this tower. Urgot is going to walk down. Forget his TP. He's going to walk into this fight. The tower, mid tower will fall. They have the wave push, and do they just rotate back down into Dragon? Maybe. And Shelly not able to get a charge off. Did That's she fine. get a charge off? She, I don't she, know. She got the charge on the first Yeah, she, she did. did. She did That's get the huge. charge off. That is huge damage. And they have the inside track onto this dragon. They're almost certainly going to secure that one for themselves. Uh, Fiora gets some push in on the top side to get some pressure down that's the other three side dragons yeah, that's that, actually that's a, that's a legit problem that yeah that's huge for hotshot gaming for sure yeah hotshot gg would be very proud right yeah, now yeah, yes he would 
and Urgot is going to TP back top, you know, not going to lose any damage on that inner tower. So he's going to be sitting really nice and pretty. Down a little bit of CS on Fiora, but I think he's in a good spot, you know, just chilling. That's expected. And, and and that's the thing, right, is what we saw from the other game. You're in a counter matchup. Yeah. The CS gap is probably 30 mm -hmm. at, at this level. But we saw, like, 80 last game. I know. And the other team was still able to come back and win it. I so at, at this point, all rules are thrown out. All yeah. of it. All of it. I am actually starting to root for the underdogs at this point. Yeah. Ooh, that's Cassin with blue buff right there. Thankfully, there's no real objectives on the no, map. No, thankfully, take. he's not level 16 yeah, is, what, yeah, you that, is that, what you meant to that say. That is true. He's a ways off from 16. That is also going to be a problem once he gets there. At, at the end of the day, you know, Ostrak game is doing a lot, but Raw Reapers has level 16 Cassin on the horizon. And yeah. we have seen that that reigns supreme in the SLS. Level 16 Cassin might be near undefeated at this point. Uh, probably. I mean, there was a time where Cassidy was a 99.4% ban rate across all of League of Legends. Do you remember yes. that? I know. That man was a first every ban single every game. game. Every yep. single game, blue or no, red side would ban Cassidy, Cassidy every without failure. Time. It would always happen. I, blue side would always keep it up on the off chance it got through, but yeah. it would... Like, I'm talking, like, what, season three to season five, man. Just bam, I don't bam, even bam, know bam, what bam. it was, but it was, it was when they changed. It was, like, two splits straight of when, LCS. Yeah, please. when they trained. He was he was almost 100% pick or ban ratio. Yep. It was crazy. That was the best champion of all time. If you time. wanted to ELO stomp, you would pick Cassin. Pick Cassin. It yeah. was it, yeah. That was the best champion ever released. Second best champion ever released, Diana, uh, when she first came out. Oh, yeah, that is true. It was God tier. Oh, see the gods here. This Briar thinks she is the hottest shit on the planet, but she is in a bad spot. She just dies, and this TP is naked. Fiora gonna get exhausted, going to get stunned. She reposts. She almost gets out of there, but the damage is huge. Viego on the chase. The kill almost certainly going to go through, and Samira picks up another one. They're gonna push out the mid here, and a huge misplay by Briar, overestimating her damage, and they're gonna march this one into Baron. Overestimating her damage reduction. That is true as well. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I can't stand and that Look champion. at the item differential. The Viego has two items. Briar has not completed her Black Cleaver yet. That was a mismatch fight. Viego knew it. They just full commit to it. And that is going to be a Baron going over. They can't even contest it. Yeah, Briar just coming up right now. Nothing you can even no. do. The they, ultimate is still up. They're so. hanging out too close. They got to be careful that they don't just get engaged on. But they're going to get the free reset off. Giving it. Gaming in a really nice position. Yeah, look at this. Look at this little cast and putting in work right now. Look at this. Boom. 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 Bada bing. Boom. Bada. Boom. Plus 600, 600 gold. And I don't know if you saw that or not. That's a level 15 cast uh -oh. in. You know what that means. There is one level left until the game is automatically over. <laughs> oh. It, it, it's great. Hotshot Gaming does all this fun stuff, but there's a cast in, in the game, and he's not a mile behind. No. It's a bad situation to be in. I that mean, being said though, Diego in a great spot, Samira in a fantastic spot. Only yeah. has three full completed items. It, it, you you got to wonder, is it enough technically? Is it enough? Yeah. Uh, is is Cassidy enough to kind of just do this yeah. and say, hey, listen, I can solo carry this game? Or was getting objectives for the entire match, like all three dragons, they the Rift Heralds, and the Baron, worth fight. it? Cassidy knows this. He's trying his hardest to split push and get that yep. level 16. I do not think he's going to get it in time. This I don't know. It's gonna be. I think he. I think he does get it. it I, I don't think they it'll have be, enough it'll to close. do. It. It'll definitely be close if he gets the opportunities. Diego just goes for the engage onto the Cassidy and gets some good amount of damage down. It's gonna run out of there. Samira poking him down as well. They kind of look for an engage onto Samira, but Samira playing confidently. The slow does land. She oh plays my goodness! She gets the open, but a shutdown comes over. Samira goes down, but Urgot pulls in the Briar, and this fight is going from bad to worse. The Brom about to fall as well. Kaisa and Cassidy running for their lives. Kaisa not long for this world, but she manages to squeak out of there. The Fiora gets some split push down, but that is going to almost certainly secure the soul going over. The mid tower falls as well. They get a nice little pick onto the Samira, but the follow fight does not go their way. Yeah, and you see so many pings going down right here for this Cloud Soul. 
I mean, this is a soul dragon, right? And in, 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 in order of priorities, it goes elder dragon always, soul dragon second, and baron. baron third. So this is huge. Some would argue the least impactful soul dragon, but still a very solid soul dragon. All the same. Some some would argue. We are already on elder timer. Yep. At three minutes, there will be an elder dragon spawn in yep. this game. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Now that might have been the plan a after uh, Raw Reaper said, "Listen, they already got two dragons, right?" Uh, let's just give them four. We'll f we will. Fight I think. I think elder. at this point we should be strong enough in the match to take an elder dragon, Th and that know, very well could be a possibility. They know Cassin's pretty much guaranteed to be level yeah. sixteen for the elder fight, and he he's been playing the bot split push for the last five minutes. He is yeah, just he trying to giga farm exp, and there it is. He's sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. So finally, is it going to be enough though? They do have a lot of hard CC. You know, they have those Sandra lockdown. They do have some CC in. The Viego, the Urgot as well. If the if the Cassin's not careful, he can get easily get caught out. He does not have the zone. Is working on a Rabadon's third item, but v, uh, Viego. Oh my Victor, God! Victor there made it is. a mistake. Gonzo, you, you cannot even sniff Cassin's. No, lane. you can't. No. That is a mistake. They try to chase him down. Look but at the, the you're that's, never that's catching him. another three coming down bot lane this right is pointless. here. You're never catching him. No. Yeah. Unless that guy has zero mana, give up. <laughs> yeah. And he's looking. He is going for the death cap for his very next item. So, yeah. oh, look at little Urgot. Look at little Urgot. Urgot. He wants this play. He thinks he can fat check the Fjord here, and he might be able to. But, but you also have Kaisa coming Kaisa up from the side. It's going to be enough, but the Fjord is really, really low. Super low. Kaisa goes in as well. The Flash comes out. Another W lands. Braum was here as well. The Urgot does get out of there. Almost had enough to open the Fiora there. That was getting a little close. Was getting close. Uh, but we'll we'll see what happens at this point. <laughs> oh, uh, might be, might be packed, man. But, oh, here's the fight top. Brom pops his ultimate to try to gain some time for his team. But the stun does land. The ultimate from the Lissandra lands. Oh, my go goodness. Just play away from the cast, and if you can't play against it, two kills picked up basically for free, and the top tower is going to fall as well. Samira getting herself back into this one, picking up some nice gold. <laughs> yeah, so. and, I mean, as much as the cast is this level is good, 17. This, it's a good adaptation. Urgot yeah. can soak some damage and kind of just match the waves. But the TP is coming in top. Both the, of them. The Fiora the going for a one-inch TP play. Look at that. I think they have them flanked, but they have the route out. Victor just going to. I actually don't understand that, what just happened. No, right that there. was interesting right there. Fiora, yeah, he, every top leader has done that. They think they see a play and they don't realize they can just walk to the play yeah. quicker than the teleport. You know, it's tough. Uh, if she just walked to the play, they, I, it's over. Yeah, yeah that's they might a flank of the century. Oh my God, Diego has the stun opportunity on there. And then Lissandra on top of it. But the damage is going to absolutely be there. Fiora going to go down at the end of the day. Diego picks up Fiora and he's going to dash out for his life. The damage comes through from the victor. The Everfrost just barely missed. Rom jumps out and they are going to run for their lives. The Cassidy drops extremely low. Mm -hmm. And look at that. Playing a little too far forward. Kaisa gets picked off and they're going to siege this tower. It is going to be a huge, huge advantage right now for Hotshot. And Urgot sucks the Brum off, pulls him in. The ult seals his fate. The inhibitor tower is about wow. to fall. And right now, level 16 Cassidy, is he even in the game? I couldn't tell you. I, but yeah. They're going for the end. There's no way they can. This might be a, bit, a huge misplay, but they go for at least one tower. They're going for two. They think they have the death timers. This might be an absolute misplay. No, Cassidy, what are you doing? Oh goes down. my goodness, they what was that? The, they pulled the trigger too early, and they're going to snowball this game. War Reapers has made a massive My blunder. God, they're my man said, yo, I'm going to take 1v5 to the shot. next level. Hot shot gaming just runs it down 28 minutes into the game. It was that easy. Cast it in wow. what does it matter? We are going to take your inhibitor, take wow. both towers, run that thing down your throat. That's it. It's and over. they played right into their hands. They went for the engage before the respawns, and that was it. I cannot believe it. Wow. I said, 
All right, so you had a teammate break wow. off to the side, right? You have a 1v1 scenario Listen. as a cast, and that's what you want. You want the 1v1, and you start picking it up when you get your all stacks in here. But that's not what he did. He went oh, in he 1v5 it. straight into the not, middle of the whole team and got eliminated point. instantly. What you, is the point of stacking up you the whole killed, game? If you get killed in five seconds, it doesn't yeah. matter if your ult is two second cooldown. You're just dead. It's over. So HSG oh, takes it with a beautiful victory really over nice Raw, Raw Gaming. Honestly, that was probably the cleanest end we've seen so far this clip. Just they, understand they had the, the advantage, of their yeah. play, and they just pushed it. And at the end, Raw Reapers just just pushed a little too the hard to try to defend that last I know. tower. If they had waited just a smidge longer for the team to respawn, they might have been able to get a counter ace. The but they did not, and they win the game well played raw reapers that was right. another another banger oh, a two great games in a row too. yeah so uh, the problem is you play late game without playing objective late game right you gave yeah. over all four dragons you gave over the rift herald you gave over the baron if you're going to play late game because you know we have a late game champion start playing the objectives like it don't give yes. them everything and say hey yeah, listen we have a cast in we automatically win you even had then, the tempo advantage yeah. in the jungle early game it is like, true but but you know the viego just stayed in it I, honestly a really underrated play that first dragon where he just just went snuck for it, it yeah. had no prio in both his mid and bot lane said i don't care there's no vision here i'm just gonna do it it paid off it snowballed and it ultimately won their team the game yeah it was a very good job uh, over by hsc we're not gonna take anything away from that but i think raw reapers i think your game plan is a little misguided you played for late technically uh, but you didn't play for late, and that's what blows my mind. Is you had you had all the cards there, and you decided not to <laughs> to put them put them on the table. And I, I don't understand what happened. All right. But that's how it goes. You know what? You know what's huge about that game? This forces a tiebreaker match right now between Hotshot and Obsidian. Yeah. So they're going to have right. to face off right now for that last playoff spot, that coveted last playoff spot, and. Oh, speaking of which, you know what that means? Playoffs, playoffs. around the playoffs. Board. We're talking about playoffs. Playoffs. Because next week starts the SLS playoffs, and you got to be here. We don't even know who's playing yet. We still have to finalize out, this, yeah. and that will be off stream. It's going to be a mystery. You will find out who's yeah. playing next week when we find out who's playing next week. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just can't wait. You know, it's about time we got some playoffs. You know, the holiday season is churning up. Mm -hmm. World is winding down, but the SLS is ramping up yeah that's how it normally goes you know a lot of people say hey listen i love worlds but what they're not saying is i love swag life series oh they're and, saying it but and, we're not hearing it yeah exactly we're not hearing it loud enough so i need all the people in the back to start making those x posts it to start uh making those facebook posts and say we love swag life if series. you're in class this week i don't care what level tell a neighbor yeah no tell a friend in class just start yelling how much you love mm -hmm. the sls Yep. I don't care if you get kicked out of class, get detention, get kicked out of college. I right. do not care. You must shout it from the mountaintops how devoted of a fan you are. And we need it. We need that power. We need to push ourselves to the end and right. crown a victor. And that victor might be right around the corner. It, yeah, it could be. It, it absolutely could, it be. Definitely could be. And that's what's crazy, right? We try to switch it up every year for you. We try to give you a new champion. But there could be a repeat. We don't know. There could be. But could be. that's the beauty of the SLS right there is – Anything can happen. Mm -hmm. Anything can happen. Mm -hmm. You know what? I could just end the broadcast right here. But you won't. Oh, I will. No, you won't. Cut because it. Because we have 40 minutes left. <laughs>